What's up everybody? We're doing something a little bit crazy, a little bit different than we normally do. I had this crazy idea working on the radio. There's this ashtray sitting above it and I put my phone in this ashtray sometimes and it doesn't really make sense. So I was like, I wonder if I can take the ashtray, do a 3D scan of it, like LiDAR, like you see in the movies or something, then bring it into some 3D modeling software to clean it up, but then most importantly, add like some sort of phone holder or plate. And then I'm going to print it on my daughter's 3D printer. I've never done this process before, so let's jump right into it and figure it out and see how it goes. I start off by removing the ashtray with this two size T20 screws and then take it over to my little makeshift scanning area. Then because the ashtray is pretty plain plastic with not a lot of texture and it has some shiny bits, I cover it in chalk. Apparently this helps the 3D scan work a little bit better. Now experimenting a bit on some of the 3D scanning apps, I landed on this app called the Kiri Engine or Kyrie Engine, not sure how to pronounce it. But after my test, the Kiri Engine app seemed to give me the best results, so that's the one I'm going for. I think what makes this app unique to the others is it does the image processing via a cloud, opposed to like your phone doing the processing of your scan. So the results ended up being the best in all my tests. And like I said before, this is the first time I've gone through this whole scanning to modeling to printing process. So if there's anything I can do to improve my workflow, make sure to leave a comment below. I'd love to improve this process and make it really awesome. And jumping right into the Kiri app, its upload is complete. So all I have to do is download the model and take a look and it's looking pretty good. So now I'm just gonna export this and bring it into my modeling software to like chop that table away and stuff. Before I do any of this though, I need to run back into the garage and get some measurements of the original ashtray to make sure that we are fitting in the original location as we should be. There's not much to measuring. You just want to make sure you're measuring in the metric system because most 3D printers are printing in millimeters and measuring in millimeters. So it just makes life easy. Now I'm back here behind my computer looking at a software called Blender. And I chose Blender because it's free, it's open source. There's a big community behind it. So a lot of tutorial videos, which are great because I am not very familiar with this software. So this is going to need a lot of tutorials to teach me how to fix this model. Anyways, enough of the small talk. Let's bring the 3D scan in and see what it looks like. Okay, we got the table scan, but it's looking pretty good. Ooh, we're, we're, we're rolling around. Okay, <laughs> there we are. Cool. Wow, you can see that the logos even scan into there a little bit. That's great. Cool. All right, well, so Kiri Engine, that's pretty well done for a free export of out of a free version of an app. Like that scans pretty nice. You can see the ridges on the bottom of the ashtray and the holes for the bolts. Yeah, so we're good. So from here, I'm going to start editing it and cleaning it up by chopping this table away and then I'm going to just pretty much come in here and try and smooth all this bumpiness out with all these random tools I see inside of Blender. So I see sculpting up there. That's probably going to be a nice one. And we're just going to go for it. Try and make it as flat as it can. So I'm not going to sit here and make you guys watch me for four hours try and fix this. So here we go. Cue that SpongeBob narrator. Six hours later. Okay, so yes, about six hours later, a couple late nights, I got to this point where the smoothing of this is okay. Like in other softwares, I know sculpting tools a little bit better so I can make these edges a little bit harder. But when you're thinking about a 3D printer, it's going to have like those printy lines all over. I think this might be good enough once it's in the slicing and printing software. So I'm going to say it's good enough. I measured everything. It's all the size it needs to be. And then I added my little back plate. I was thinking if you all want, let me know, put a comment. Um, I could do an ashtray round two or the ashtray paradox or whatever. And how I'd actually make this a lot better is if I modeled using the ashtray as a template, the ashtray scan as a template, if I modeled a model over it in the same shape as the ashtray, then I would have these like hard edges like my little back plate right here. Anyways, oh, and I forgot one thing. <laughs> 
you know how to do it. So it's looking good enough. I'm going to go ahead and send this over to the slicing and printing software. So I just export it as an object file. Now we're going to jump over into the Bamboo Studio, which is goes with my daughter's Bamboo A1 printer. It's a good entry level printer if anybody's looking to get into 3D printing. <laughs> I think an Ender is also a nice option. Anyway, so in the Bamboo Studios, I just import that object I just exported out of Blender. There it is. Looking pretty good. Let's rotate it. Let's rotate it so that the little phone plate is what's hitting the printing plate. That's nice. OK, and then let's just make sure that we're printing with supports. So I want to enable supports. And pretty much what that is is kind of these overhangs that aren't on a print plate need something to support it so they have something to print on. So there we go. We're looking good. Got the Chris and Cars logo. Why not? Got my bolt holes. You can see the, the pattern isn't smooth. So there's another thing I can do to optimize is smooth out the object a little bit more um, so these edges aren't so hard. It would look a lot better. Anyways, we're going we're gonna to run with it. We're going to see how it looks once it prints, and we can refine this process as we go. So I'm just going to slice it. OK, we're sliced, which means it calculated how to like print the layers. All right, and we're looking good. Let's go check the printer and then get this thing printed overnight, and I'll see you all in the morning. OK, moment of truth. Let's see how the print looks. I'm going to flip the camera around. Hey, that's pretty cool. Yeah. All right, let me set up the camera and uh, kind of get some shots of this and kind of go over it. OK, so this print, I'd probably give it a B minus C plus. It's uh, it's not perfect, but for my first attempt of a free phone app scanning and printing and all this modeling and stuff in a new software, it turned out pretty OK. Um, I could sand it down and smooth it a little bit. I could remodel it with that different method where I use the scan as a template and then actually make a model. That way, the sides are much more rigid. There's also a different kind of filament I could use to make this not such a 3D printed looking object. But anyways, in the end, not bad. Fun experiment. It was fun making this video. I hope you all liked it out. If it did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all that YouTube stuff. And thanks for watching.